Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of Tarani Friday. Today we're going a little bit off the beaten path and for some people this may actually be treading into dangerous territory and some of you may feel like I have crossed a line, but we're going to do it anyway. Today we're going to be making Tarani Ruby Red Grapefruit and Tarani Lemon Shandies. Yes, we're making shandies. We're going to put Tarani in some beer over some ice. Say it ain't so. Let's go see how this all comes together. All right, we're going to make some citrus beer shandies. Now, well, when I say shandy, if you don't know what that is, a shandy is a beer cocktail, and it really has its roots in Germany. It's a very summery drink, and they will add citrus juice to beer, and it really kind of heightens that experience, and it does. It makes it so your beer isn't so beery. Bye or bland, whatever you want to call it. But today I thought it might be fun to go ahead and do a shandy of sorts and use Trani syrup in it. Now that may seem like ludicrous and sacrilegious to some of you beer lovers out there. Now I'm a beer lover and so is Rick. Now we do not imbibe all the time and we do not indulge in beer all the time. Honestly, Rick may have one beer a week. We have a refrigerator full of beer, but we do like to try new things and we do like to share them with you. So today we're going to make some Tarani shandies for the summer. And shandies are also a great way to use up some beer maybe that you bought that you thought you might enjoy and maybe it didn't live up to your expectations. Um, a beer cocktail is always the way to go in that situation because you're going to enjoy the beer, but you're going to kind of cover it up with some other flavor. So a shandy is a really great option, as is a bloody beer or a bloody Caesar, which are both really excellent beer cocktails that we can cover in other videos. But today we're going to make for you ruby red grapefruit and lemon shandies, and we're going to use some beer. We have some cheap beer that we had out in the fridge that we're going to use and we're going to use Tarani syrup and we're going to add some fresh lemon to it and I think it's going to be great. So let's see how this all turns out when we're finished. So what I'm going to do, yes there's ice in my glasses. Beer shandies I like to have over ice. Do the same thing with the um, the bloody beer or the, the Caesar. Now I'll have to do a video of those. I'm just gonna add a shot to each glass. We're gonna do a lemon one and a ruby red grapefruit one. And if you don't wanna add that much syrup, then don't, simple. And then I'm just gonna pour the beer over. And Rick will get a pretty pink beer because I know he wants that grapefruit one. Huh? You might like the lemon one. I'm just going to take my bar spoon in here and give this a good mixing. You can always add more beer to it as though those suds subside a bit. That is not bad. Just tasting off the spoon, that is not bad at all. And then um, you can either float a lemon wedge, whoops, a lemon slice in there, which is always nice. I like to put a slice of lemon uh, in my beer sometimes. It depends on what kind of beer it is. Or of course you can always just stick it on the side like that and you have a delicious beer cocktail. It was super simple to make and think of all the possibilities. I like the uh, the citrus syrups for this. You know, we've got lemon, there's lime, there's grapefruit, there's orange, there's blood orange. You could go a lot of different directions. Huh? Harry, say it. Don't say it. What is he gonna say, folks? Go ahead and say it, honey. Bacon shandy. You can't waste my bacon syrup. Not until they make a limited edition run of the bacon syrup. Hint, hint. Hint, hint to Ronnie. Are you listening? Bacon syrup, please. Okay. Shall we taste these? Okay. Okay. I taste the... Look how pretty it is, though. I mean, it's really beautiful. 
All right. You would think it would be sweet, and it's not. It's just really, really refreshing. Oh, it is. That's nice. Again, a great way to save some crappy beer that you... I'm going to tell you a story in a minute. Let's taste the grapefruit one. Let me top it off. It's really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's really, really pretty. Rick is using a new uh, mount for the camera, so he's kind of getting used to that. That's really good. It's good. Maybe I will have the grapefruit. There you go. He loves that grapefruit syrup so much. Okay, so I have to tell you a story about the beer. Now, it's obvious what kind of beer this is. Okay. Not really a brand of beer that I've ever been a big fan of, and not really a, a brand of beer that I would go out of my way to buy, except that they recently came out with these limited edition vintage throwback bottles. And I love the bottles just because they're, you know, they're old fashioned looking and I think they're adorable. The, um, I don't know where I put the caps. Oh, they're over there. But it has a little twist off cap. But it just says, you know, banquet because they call it Coors Banquet Beer. It won't focus. Oh, it won't. It Okay, well, anyway, I just thought they were super cute, and, you know, Rick has a shelf where he keeps beer bottles that of things that he's purchased that he likes or we think are kind of cool looking. So, one of these is going to go up on the shelf. Like I said, the Shandy, we're obviously using them in the Shandy because they're not our favorite straight out of the bottle. So... We have to use them up because we don't want to waste them. And I would not offer these to a guest unless they specifically said they enjoyed this type of beer. So in any case, this is an awesome way to use up maybe some beer that didn't live up to your expectations. You can always use your favorite beer. For a Shandy, I do recommend using a wheat beer or a Pilsner or a lager style beer. I don't know that an ale or an IPA is really recommended for a shandy. Of course, you can use whatever suits your personal taste. But that's how we're going to make a ruby red grapefruit and a lemon shandy using Tarani syrup today. I hope that you give this a try because it's really, really good. I want to thank you so much for joining me today for this Tarani Friday. And as always, if you liked the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on any more Tarani Fridays or, for that matter, any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we put up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes more often, right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So once again, I will say, give this Tarani Shandy a try. Uh, and I, if you do try it, I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Ginger carrots, Mexican corn, succotash, lemon, garlic, green beans, which sound divine. Um, balsamic beans, green beans and mushrooms, herbed potatoes, chipotle potatoes, and Mediterranean potatoes. And again, that's a really great place to start. Here's more pressure canning recipes for how to make this hearty chicken stew, chicken soup, Thai coconut squash soup.